What's up engineers? Today we're going to have a look at what I think is the best way to build CLI applications in Python using the module Typer. This is a great little module for you to put use in your next Python script. All you need to do to get started is do a pip install Typer. After that, just start writing your own functions and Typer will be able to call them from the command line. Follow along with this tutorial and I'll show you everything you need to know to get started. All right, so let's get started with building a CLI application using Typer. So I already have some code up on the screen here and I'll just go over it quickly. This is the base code that you need to get started with Typer. So the first thing is just we're importing the Typer module, then we're creating an object. And then at the very start of the Python application, we are calling that object. So the next step is to actually build out our commands. And the way that we do that is just by building functions. So let's go ahead and build a function. It's the same way that you would build any function in Python. So you just go def and then you give it a name. So I'll say hello and then you define exactly what you want to do in that function. So I'll just say print hello. So a very simple function that just uh, prints out hello to the console. Now to actually get this working with app, you need to add what's called a decorator. And the way you do that is just above the function, you put the at symbol, and then we're going to take this app object, and then we'll say that this is a command. And again, in Python, if you haven't seen these before, they're called decorators. And it's pretty common to put these before functions when you're working with a module such as Typer. So that's all you really need to do with the decorator. I wouldn't worry too much about the details of it. If you want to learn more about it, just go ahead and look up Python decorators and that'll give you a good explanation of how they work. But for our case, we can keep it nice and simple here. So if we want to run our application, all we have to do is go Python and then main.py. And when we do that, we can see it returns hello. Now this is because we only have one command in our application so far. So if I were to copy this and then paste it here and then just change it to goodbye and then we'll say goodbye. Now if we try to run this, it's going to return some text telling us that we need to choose either hello or goodbye. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll rerun the application and you can see that it gives you some feedback on the usage. So it says call main.py, provide the options and the command and arguments. And it gives us our two commands here, goodbye and hello. So you can see what a great module this is just because it provides you all this out of the box functionality with just a few lines of code. All we really did was import the module and then create a function and add a decorator above that function. And now we have a fully working CLI application. So let's continue here. We'll go ahead and run the script and we'll just say hello and then uh, goodbye. And by the way, if you didn't catch at the beginning of this video, this utility does allow auto completion. I will show you how to implement that using Typer CLI, but let's go ahead and continue with building these functions. So it's a pretty simple application so far. There's no real logic. We're just saying hello, it returns hello, and then goodbye it returns goodbye. So let's go ahead and add some variables. So to add variables into our functions, all we need to do is go up here to the parameters and then we're going to say we want a variable called name and it needs to be of type string. So we'll go str. Now when we type main hello, it's going to tell us you're missing the argument of name. So knowing that I will put my name down and it just returns hello. So if we actually want it to return our name, we should change this to an F string and then just add our name here. So let's rerun that. And then you can see it returns hello, Brad. Okay, so that's a good single argument example. Let's go ahead and add a second argument here. So we'll go comma and we'll say, I don't know, uh, IQ and we'll make sure that that's an int. So if we recall our application here and we go, hello, Brad, it's missing the argument IQ. Now, if I go Brad and put in something here that isn't an integer, it's gonna error out as well. So if I tried to go just say my IQ is smart, I'm gonna get an error. I actually need to put a number. 
So I'll just go 500 IQ. So let's get that to print out here. I'm actually going to add it as a second line just so we can add some additional logic. So we'll go your IQ is IQ and rerun that. Hello, Brad, your IQ is 500. Of course it is. Now, one thing you can do with Typer is put in the command name, add in the option, and then just go dash dash help. And it's going to display all the arguments that are available. And it tells you that the arguments are name and IQ, and they're both required. Now let's go ahead and add another value that has a default value. So this one's not going to be required. So I'm going to say display underscore IQ. It's going to be the type bool, which is boolean, and it's going to be equal to true. Now when we rerun this help, we can see that we have the arguments of name and IQ, but now we have options. So we can either go display IQ or no display IQ. So to run this, we just go hello Brad 500 and then dash dash no display dash IQ. And it's gonna still tell us your IQ is 500 because we haven't actually added any logic that takes in this Boolean yet. So maybe I don't have 500 IQ, but I can add this in pretty simply here. So we'll just go if display underscore IQ, then we're going to print it. So now when we run this, it's just going to say, hello, Brad. And then if we go display IQ, it's going to say, hello, Brad, your IQ is 500. And then if we don't include display IQ at all, it's just going to default to true. So it's going to show me my IQ of 500. So this is a pretty good feel good app right now. I'm feeling pretty smart just writing it out. I was able to build a nice little command line utility and uh, get some confirmation bias that I have 500 IQ. So that's good. The next thing that I want to go over is how we can add auto completion to this. So there's actually two ways to add auto completion to this. The first way is we can build an actual Python application and package it together and then just install auto completion for this application, or we can use Typer CLI. Typer CLI is a much easier option. So I'm going to show off how to do that. But if you want to have a look at how you can create a Python application and integrate the auto completion that way, then I will put a link in the description below on how to do that. But let's get started with Typer CLI now. All right. So once you have Typer CLI installed, go ahead and then type Typer and then dash dash install dash completion. And you just need to run this command one time to get the auto completion installed on your shell. I'm using PowerShell here. So you can see it says PowerShell completion installed and the completion will take effect once you restart your terminal. If you're using the bash shell in Linux, it's the same exact command. It's just going to run a different script to install the auto completion. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my PowerShell now. So PowerShell has been restarted. I'm going to go ahead and use Typer to call my application now. And this is how you call your applications using Typer CLI. You call Typer instead of Python. So we'll go Typer and we'll put in the script name, which is main.py. And you need to include this extra parameter, which is run. So we'll go run and then we'll say hello. And we'll put my name and I think I needed IQ. So this runs good, but let's go ahead and show off the auto completion. So I'll just copy this, paste this here, and we'll type H. Now we can hit tab and auto completion works. We can do the same thing for our other option there, which was goodbye. Just type in G and then hit tab. So that's the auto completion function. Obviously for a script that only has two options in it, it's not that helpful, but you can imagine if you're building a larger CLI application with around 10 to 15 commands, the auto completion really comes in handy and it just makes your script feel so much more professional when it has that feature included in it. So anyways, that's all I have for the typer module. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you found this video helpful at all, please go ahead and hit that like button 
And if you're interested in learning more about DevOps, Python, or automation in general, go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.